Hi there, in this section we will see how we can display the specific listings that the user has bid it for. We will need to create a method in the controller as well as a service to get the bids from the database. Then we will create a new view page which the user can access from the navigation menu. So, let me just go back to the project. And here, uh, under my listings method, I'm going to copy them and I'm going to write here my bits method. This, they have a similar structure, but also they are different, which we will see here. So the first thing that I'm going to do here, we will get the data from the bit service and not from the listing service because we will get a list of bids and we haven't created this method yet. So if I go here to the iBids service interface, I'm gonna need to create this getAll method which will return an iQueryable of bids and it will have the name of getAll. And if I go to the then to the bids service, let me just implement that method here, that the interface. And let me just remove it here. And inside this variable, I'm gonna get the data from the context. So we'll use this link query to get the data from the context. So from A in underline context, context.bits, we will include in the context a few things. So firstly, for the bids, we will need to include the listing because we will then show the listings. And if we write then include, we can take the users of that listing. And there we select it, select A, and we will just need to return this variable. That's just how we, that's just all for the get all method. And here, as we have written it here, we have taken the data here in the method from the service. The difference here is that when we will return a paginated list of bits, and we'll take the bits that a user has created. And here in the, when we return the view, we'll return the view for the my bits, which we will create now the view page for my bits. So we are just adding a view here, just an empty view which I'm going to need to have to name the same as the name of the method. So my bits. And for this, I'm actually going to copy the index page, but I'm going to make a few modifications to it. So I'm just going to copy the whole index page and I'm pasting it here. We have here a list of bids and here in the forage loop I'm changing it to bid we'll take the bids and we'll get the same information that we get in the index page but we will access them by writing here at bid.listing.imagepath for example and for all of the others so here we'll take the listing id by writing at bid.listing.id and this way we'll take the title of the listing that the user has bid it for. So at bid.listing the title. Here we write at bid.listing the description. So by using the bid, we will access the listings that the user has bid it for. Here as well, we'll access the user 
and the listings user by the bits. I'm, I'm just changing this paragraph here to no bits made or just no bits. We'll leave the HTML for the pagination as it is. And if I run the application now, okay. If we, I go to my bits, as I remember it correct, we can see we actually bid it for this. So, and we are actually the winner. So we can see this listing by accessing the bits. Let me just go to the My Bits view page here. I'm just gonna change the title here to just My Bits. And this way we can see that we access our bits by in this page. So we have come to the end of this section and this was also the last functionality that we needed to add to complete our auctions application.